next award, ladies and gentlemen, the Beryl Godfrey Award. It's named after one of WA's original Hall of Fame inductees, a former Australian player and a current Hall of Fame committee member. It's made to the most outstanding female bowler at the 2017 Australian Side Series. Would you please welcome Beryl to the stage to announce this year's recipient of the medal. Give her a round of applause. Beryl Godfrey, everyone. Before I get to the serious business, there's a little bit of levity, it seems to be, here tonight. And I'd like just to put it to our, our own Bowls WA and perhaps even Bowls Australia. We've had so much talk about the over 60s, Linda Warburton and Gordon King, talking about how many good bowlers they have at that age. I think it's time to start the over 70s and the over 80s. <laughs> Maybe I'd get a game. The awards tonight goes to a triple medalist, actually, a triple award winner this year, Christina Christick, alongside a newcomer in Hayley Adams. Come forward, please, please. Your, your second series is a player, but a big step up, I understand, this time around. Uh, yeah, just before we left, we had a bit of a, a change to our team, so um, Chrissy scored me as her, her three. Um, which, yeah, it was a step up. My, you know, selected position was a two, so um, changed for me, and, you know, I've got this, so obviously I did it pretty well at it, so <laughs> good. <laughs> exactly. Um, more of the same, is that the goal from here? What's, what are the, if you're going to have KPIs, what are they for the, the next season or two? Um, probably, personally, for me, is um, aiming higher, I guess, so state titles would be good, mm -hmm. so pushing hard for that. Um, training as usual. Um, got a really great um, training partner and quasi coach who likes to take a lot of the credit for where I've got with my bowls the last couple of years. So um, yeah, just keeping on, keeping working hard, I guess. And in terms we heard, if selected, Darwin could present a slightly different sort of challenge. What are you expecting and, and indeed looking forward to if selected? Um, I don't, you know, I haven't set myself any expectations now, um, in particular for, for Darwin. You know, we go through the process and if we're selected at the end, um, we work hard from, from there and I think everybody in the squad will probably do the same thing. You know, you work hard if you get selected, you work harder and you go and perform the best you can. So if this was footy, it's like taking it one end at a time? Is that the way you're putting it about? <laughs> maybe not one end at a time, maybe one bowl at a time, I think <laughs> Therese would say. <laughs> Nicely put. Well done, congratulations. Give uh, Hayley a round of applause and we'll get Christina across. Christina, please come over. Uh, where to now... Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Um, I've been wondering where the wolf whistles have been all night. Uh, where to now for here? What we've been terrific. I would imagine, and you can be honest here, because we're all friends in the room. Oh, yes. Commonwealth Games. How high on the level of things to achieve is that? I was expecting this question. <laughs> well, you've been well media trained then. Well done. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, I'm up against some. Um, brilliant players, so I definitely haven't given up on the opportunity. I've been training hard um, when I can, obviously trying to balance my uni and bowls. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely working very hard, but uh, obviously, yeah, it's going to be tough to make the team, especially after the results from World Bowls last year. So, Can you give us an insight, and for those who don't realise exactly how hard you have to work, give us an insight into what you do, how much time you spend out there practising, how many bowls would you put down in the training session? What's it like for you at the moment with the level that you're at? Um, yeah, so we do have uh, certain things we need to fulfil every month, um, and that's all the squad members. Um, it's not just us as well, it's all the NTC squad members that have to do the same. So we've got drills, so we've got a minimum requirement we have to complete each month, so that's eight drills. Um, we Believe it or not, we have to exercise as well, <laughs> so we have a run keeper on our phones, which is like an app, and we have to do a certain amount of um, cardio, strengthening, flexibility a week, monthly reports, um, just yearly calendars, so there's things we have to submit every month um, to uh, Steve Glass and, and Peter Brown, and yeah, so... Everyone's at the same level, having to do the same thing. So. And you can't just put the app or the mobile phone on the car seat next to you and 
just sort of log uh, up a few k's that way? Well, if they, were a, if they had a look at how uh, your speed of your running, that would be a little bit obvious. Um, I'm not very quick, so I think they'd know. <laughs> <laughs> um, lastly, uh, how, much, how much bowls have you been playing in the last couple of weeks? Give us a bit of an idea of what you've been up to. Um, funny question you asked that. I was talking to um, my partner today uh, about how often I've been away and I, we were saying I haven't spent um, six weeks or five to six weeks straight at home since probably last November. So almost travelled every month um, since then. So whether it's been training camps or um, test matches, um, yeah, so this is probably the most I've travelled. The last six to 12 months is, yeah, the most I've, I've played. Um, one last one. How, the, the Perth Suns and the involvement there, has that changed in terms of um, what it's meant for you as a bowler? Do you find it a bit more intimidating that people straight away recognise you? And I bring that up because you can't tell from my waistline, but I might have been in the Northridge Brewing Company the other week and there you were on the TV. It was oh. fascinating to watch. It was great. But I mean, that's in terms of all of a sudden you now have this massive profile around the country. Has that changed at all for you? Um, I try not to let it affect me too much. Um, yeah, sometimes you do feel the pressure that you have to perform at certain events. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not that, I'm not very famous, so it's okay. <laughs> famous enough. And a little bit more famous tonight. Congratulations oh, to you and you. Hayley. Well done. Give thank our so dual winners, our joint winners a round of applause. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to Hayley.